Shipfirstboxing.com, Kathy Dova. First thing first. This is it. Happy Thanksgiving on this beautiful weekend. Sergey is back in the ring. He's on a mission. Yes, he is. This trainer, who is this trainer right now? Because I couldn't, you know, really hear today. But who is this trainer right now? Okay, uh, Arbor Tersultiplin. I can't, sorry. Uh, he's got one of these very what, long names. Where is he from? I have to learn how to pronounce it. I apologize, Arbor. Um, he is from, um, where is, where is Arbor from? No. Uzbekistan. That's it. He's We've from been Uzbekistan. Training, what about a good month with Sergey? Yeah, and he worked prior to that. He's worked with Sergey. Sergey has a fighter uh, that, that he works with, Miram Hirsul Tuklanov. Again, and uh, he is. Uh, he works with him. He also works with another fighter that Agus has. So he's been around him a lot, and, and, and he got to know him, and he's very very happy. With him. On that note, like you said, Agus. Agus said something very good. He said, you know, that he was for these many years when he won all those titles, he was on his own mission. He wouldn't listen to his trainer. He was, you know, doing his own way. He didn't really want to. But now it looks like he's in that, he's in on that, that, not the driver's seat, but he's in the passenger seat with the driver. And the driver, you know, the trainer that's there with him. And, you know, he's, he has someone with him. Yeah, I think Sergey's still driving the car, but he's maybe getting a little advice. <laughs> Well, maybe opposite. Sergey's like always going to be the driver. Think, Don't worry yeah, about you're that. right. He's the driver. We're not changing. He got a, he got we're a passenger. Oh. I wouldn't want to change him that much. There you go. Maybe he got a passenger now. <laughs> yes. Someone that's there, exactly. helping him out right. on that side. Warn him if he sees something coming. Yeah. <laughs> what do we see this Saturday? What are we going to see a new Sergey? We're all going to find out together. Um, I, I, you know, I've been remarking about how he looks. His face is bright. His eyes are bright. His complexion is, is uh, you know, glowing. He's certainly not dried out. And, and you know, uh, the last couple of fights, he just, his, his face was lined. He looked, he was looking older almost now. He looked, he looked younger than he did, uh, you know, six months ago. So uh, you can't fake that. That's, that's called, you know, cutting out all of the bad foods and all the bad stuff to drink and getting rid of the sugar and getting rid of the flour and eating you know, plants and meat and being very, very, uh, very, very careful about what you put into your body. And that's what he's been doing because he wouldn't look the way he does if he wasn't. So that's a really good sign. That's a sign that that takes a great deal of commitment. It takes a great deal of honesty with yourself. You can't con yourself into thinking that if I just eat that one piece of chocolate, it's not going to bother me. Um, so let's see what happens next. You know, it's, that's what makes this exciting. Interesting. About a week ago, John David Jackson, he said it wasn't chocolate's problem. It was alcohol. He said that Problem with Sergey was alcohol. Did you see that? Did you ever notice that? I didn't that? see it. No, but uh, for a trainer to say something like that, what are your thoughts on that? I don't want to comment on what he said. No some things belong. Something should stay in the gym, um, and I'm disappointed. But that's all I'm going to say. A good Friday viewers that you worked for what seven, eight years? Thomas Adamick. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Just fought this weekend for Cassie. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that fight and everything? I love Tomas, um, and, I, and I think uh, it would be great if he made on with his life now. And felt that way for a while. Um, I respect that he does what he needs to do. He's another guy who's you know driving the car, always will be. Uh, you know, you're not going to be a great fighter, and he was a great fighter, if you are not the guy who can drive the car. But uh, it's hard to it's hard to face when it's when it when it's time to, to, to hang him up. But I, I don't know that he can be a force in the division anymore. And uh, the guys are getting bigger and bigger. And uh, I just don't see the point. But this old man, he's going to make his own decisions. So you and Thomas should hang it up, and that's it. He should unbox. If he asked my opinion, that's what I would say, but he's not going to ask for it, so I accept that. Kathy, it's Thanksgiving. A couple last words for your opinions and everybody for this weekend. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful meal with your family. Come on out Saturday night and watch the show. You want to be here to see those undercard fights that won't be on TV because it's a terrific show from top to bottom. But if you can't make it, tune in to HBO, 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving. Man. Same here. Thank you. Thank you.